Classic, what is it? Cream sauce time. Cream sauce time. Classic mushroom cream sauce. Inside your bag. Inside here you've got your recipe book. Oh, by the way, the recipe booklet has the rehydration instructions on the second page in case it's not straightforward enough for you. You just put these in tepid water 10-15 minutes. Where can you get tepid water? Oh, tepid means just like regular temperature, not too hot, not too cold. <laughs> <All right. laughs> While the mushrooms are rehydrating, you've sauteed up some onions and some... Yeah, onions and garlic, and I did a little bit of diced bacon in there too, which is optional. Super, super good for you, Morel's Concentrate Vitamin D, and really high protein. Now, Once you have a nice kind of golden, that's sort of a rule with all of our mushrooms. As soon as they start to get a little bit golden and nice and crispy, that's when you're going to deglaze or take the next step. In this case, a couple tablespoons of white wine. Deglazing is when you pull the yummy stuff off the bottom of the pan that's stuck to the pan. Your next step is to add the water that you soak the mushrooms in. And you're going to always leave the last little bit. A couple tablespoons. Because that's got, well, if there's any dirt it'll be in there. This is actually the spore. So we've simmered our mushrooms and whatnot in soaking water after the wine for a bit. Now we're going to add our three quarter cup of cream. This is 10% cream. You can use coffee cream. You can use whipping cream. Hello, cream, bacon, and booze with your wild mushrooms. This is not a staple, guys. This is a treat. And while you're eating it, you're fighting cancer and getting beta glucans, which are immunomodulators. So throw in the heavy cream. But if you're vegetarian or vegan, are you, you threatening me with this very small? Really <laughs> you can substitute. You know, you can experiment. You can try it with whatever you like to use instead of. Really there will be no experimentation. <laughs> Do it my way! Okay. Okay, what I'm doing here, just so we can thicken the sauce to our taste, um, we're going to add a little bit of flour. You could use cornstarch. And we're going to add a couple tablespoons of water, cold water. And you're just going to whisk that up really good. And this is just going to help make your sauce nice and thick. I might add there, sweetheart, that if you're gluten free, you're, of course, you're going to use cornstarch. I said for that this. already. Did you already I say did. that? <laughs> Or just omit it. We don't use it when we sample it. We just reduce it a little longer. If you have time, you just kind of let it do its own thing. I put a little salt and a little pepper in there. If you are going to make, a, you want to thicken up your sauce, you put in your flour water mixture. And of course, that has to cook. So you don't just put that in and shut it off. You're going to keep simmering. Beautiful thing about this dish, the little secret that um, you need to know. Is, I don't know the secret. Yeah, I will tell you the secret. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. You can cook this. You can cook this a long time. You can't really overcook this. Like, the longer you let this simmer, the better it's going to be. This is going to be a pasta sauce for four. You doing or pasta? I, I'm about to do pasta, yeah. You can put it on anything that you like. Yes. Eat <laughs> <laughs> you. I wouldn't put it on, like, oats or anything. This is not good on breakfast cereal. <laughs> you could put it on anything for dinner or lunch, like potatoes or um, meat or fish mm -hmm. or pasta or rice or what else? Is there? Any, anything. There's, there's <laughs> anything you can mash potatoes. That's what I was looking for. I the potatoes that were missing. All right, so now we're going to add a little bit of cheese. Now, I like in the recipe I say McLaren, McLaren's aged cheddar. It's that bright orange stuff in a container. But this I like this better. This is just any kind of aged cheese. Just a little in there. What so, kind did you use? Oh, this is, you know, some aged cheddar this is cheese. aged white cheddar. And that's it. Your sauce is done. Your morel cream sauce. We're going to let this simmer really on low until our pasta is done. Remember, the longer you let it simmer, the little bit less sauce you're going to have, but the better it's going to taste. You can see the mushroom flavors all fusing yummily into you can, the You nice. can see that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>